whole point in me doing this video today is because I want to try out the Hero 11 Creator Edition. GoPro sent it out to me to try out and I just want to see how it is to vlog with it with the Hero 10. Now that I got to Bath, I actually need to find the Roman bathhouse, which is where I want to go. But I also want to find somewhere that I can fly my drone that's going to be quiet because I just don't like drawing attention to myself. So I might just go and try and find like a side street or something just so that I can get a, a nice shot. But whilst I try and figure that out and look at the signs, the first reason why I really like the GoPro 11 Creator Edition is the fact that it's basically an extended battery. So this battery in the Volta lasts basically all day. It gives you like double or triple, is it double the battery life of one of the Enduro batteries? But the thing is it just keeps charging the battery, which is really great. So you don't have to keep taking the camera out of the media mod, switching the battery and then putting the battery in. So um, yeah, that's one of the really great benefits of the Creator Edition if you're gonna be vlogging all day. It's perfect. Okay, so if you don't know, the GoPro Hero 11 Creator Edition comes with the Volta and the Media Mod. And one of the biggest reasons why the Media Mod is so important, even though the audio sounds rubbish from it, I'm sorry, but it does, is being able to attach an external microphone. At the moment, I'm using the Sennheiser, the Sennheiser MKE 200. And I've, so I've used the Media Mod before. I used it with the Hero 10. And like I said, the audio sounds pretty rubbish coming from it. I'll let you hear it. This audio is now from the media mod, the front microphone, and the wind noise reduction is off, and this is what the audio sounds like. It's got the foam windshield on at the moment, so I'll switch that, I'll take that off so that you can hear it. So this is now with the foam windshield off, audio still coming from the media mod, front microphone, and this is what the audio sounds like. And so now this audio is coming straight from the GoPro Hero 11 microphones. I've switched off the microphones for the media mod. And as I said, the audio that comes straight from Hero 11 actually sounds really good. So yeah, this is just what it sounds like as a comparison. So the biggest reason in using the media mod is for the external microphone. So that if you're in really windy conditions or it's really noisy, then you can attach an external mic like a shotgun mic and then you'll get a lot clearer, cleaner audio, which sounds a lot better. Okay, I'm walking in the right direction at least. I've got my Apple Watch giving me directions as well, which is really handy. I do like Bath. It's got a very oldie worldy look and feel to it. There are a couple of other things about the Volta as well, which makes it really handy. It's the fact that it's not just a handle, but also a tripod as well so if you want to put your camera down somewhere then you've got that option and you can also spin the camera around so at first I was like how do you change the camera around so that it's not lopsided but then it you can spin it around on the top so you can face the camera in any direction and it's kind of got a hard lock to it so when you, tw you when you tilt it when you twist it then it will just lock in place and the other thing is that it's got this side mount on it. So if you wanted to mount it onto handlebars or anything really, you don't have to take the GoPro out of the GoPro, out of the media mod. You can just attach the Volta to whatever mount you have, which is really useful because having to take the camera in and out of the media mod is just a pain and a faff. So yeah, that's really, really handy.
Okay, I'm about five minutes away from the Roman baths. Going in the wrong direction. Hang on. This way. <laughs> the other thing that I really like about the Creator Edition and the Volta in particular is the fact that it's weather sealed. Not waterproof, so you can't dunk it in the water, otherwise you will ruin your Hero 11 and the Volta. But yeah, it's weather sealed. So if it's raining, snowing, anything like that, then you're going to be absolutely fine. Um, that goes for the medium mod as well. But as soon as you are attaching an external microphone, then obviously you have to be a bit careful of the microphone because if it starts raining, then you're probably going to wreck your microphone. So in that respect, I would most likely just ditch the external microphone and take the media mod off and just use the audio that comes straight from the Hero 11 because it sounds really good. And then you've still got your weatherproof setup. So this next point isn't necessarily a massive deal, but it's actually a really nice thing to have because if you don't want to use the media mod and you want to just use the camera on the Volta by itself, then you've got this little door that you can attach, which you would still then be able to plug the Volta in, which would keep the whole system weather sealed rather than just having the door off and plugging it into directly into the camera. So that's just a really nice touch and just an accessory that comes with it just makes it really handy. Finally, the last thing is that you can actually use the Volta to charge anything. So you can charge your phone, you can charge it, you can charge anything. So it acts as a battery pack, which is really useful whilst you're out and about because you get a lot of juice from the Volta. horrible feeling then that I put the wrong location into the map and went to the wrong place because I just saw Roman Bath shop and I just thought did I just basically go to a shop rather than going to the actual museum where the baths are but I think it's just up ahead so So before I wrap up, I just want to mention a few things that I found a little bit annoying. The handle doesn't extend, which is not annoying, it's just one of those things that would have been nice so that you could just hold it out a little bit further. So of course you can just attach a, a, an extended selfie stick, but it would have been nice if it could just extend on its own without having to attach something additional to it. And then lastly, it just takes a little while to charge up, but that's not a big deal because you can just put it to charge overnight and then you're good to go for the rest of the day. So hopefully, if you're thinking of getting the Creator Edition, that's gonna give you some insight into whether it's good enough for you. I'm gonna do another video where I talk about using a gimbal and that whole setup, because if you use the Creator Edition and use a the Volta, then if you wanna use ND filters, then you kinda need a gimbal, so that would render the Volta kind of useless because yeah you can't use it <laughs> but that's for another video so yeah hope this video was useful if so do give it a like thanks for watching and catch you guys next time